Come on now, let's get serious. Ready? One, two, three, go! Today we'll be giving a uh, speech to the uh, honor roll uh, recipients at the uh, Don Bosco Crystal Ray School. Thank you. Yeah. Captain Collington has earned several department awards for his exemplary performance of his duties while serving the Tacoma Park Police Department. So please help me welcome Captain Collington. Tyrone Collington has been a Tacoma Park police officer for 18 years, but he will tell you it wasn't an easy road getting there. And my father said, you're going to wind up getting yourself in a whole bunch of trouble if you don't straighten up. Could have took that and said, you know what, if he says I'm going to beat nothing, I might as well beat nothing. I was determined to be different than what my father just told me the night before. Captain Collington recently spoke at Don Bosco Cristo Rey High School, a Catholic college preparatory school for students with limited means. And if you can conceive it in your mind, believe it in your heart, you can achieve it. But speaking to students in Tacoma Park is nothing new for Collington. How many people in here want to be successful? Let me see. He visits with students on a daily basis, both in the classroom and the community. In light of everything that's going on across the country, we're trying to bridge that gap and let them know that we do care about them. You know, that's why I pour into these schools and I try to speak to as many kids as I can on a daily basis. Um, you know, it's like a calling. You know, you have to want to uh, do this. As a young boy, Collington grew up in Washington, D.C. with a policeman in his community who he referred to as officer friendly. Today, he wants to be that guy, the one that folks in the neighborhood can turn to and count on to be there. He wants to reinstill the community's faith in the police. So we're trying to reach, you know, individuals on, from all different walks of life. You know, not everyone came from a sheltered home. And, I, and some of the stories that I shared with them today, you know, I kind of had a rough upbringing. But you know, um, again, achievement starts with the desire. You have to want to succeed in life. And you know, and I shared a story with them about how to be successful. Each day at 4 p.m. you'll find Captain Collington catching up with the kids from Piney Branch Elementary School. It's something he looks forward to every day. And so do the kids. So it's nothing for me to, you know, ask about homework. How was school? Good. Good give them a, you know, a little tree. I give them like a couple of dollars and I count them. So taxes like 105, 106. So I always give them a dollar and a quarter, go down to the store and I make sure each one gets okay, it. You got taxes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And quite frankly, I just think that uh, giving back to them, hopefully one day when they get older, and, and realize Officer Collington really cared about us. And he's also sure to keep his finger on the pulse of the young adults in Tacoma Park. Everything that you're doing today is preparing you for college tomorrow. His message to the so men and women at Don Bosco years, Cristo Rey, each and every one of them has the ability to become a high flyer in life. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you'll be successful. I said, I don't do this for accolades or, or any recognition. I do this because I really care. Mm -hmm. I genuinely care about the kids. Mm -hmm. We're starting to make that connection now to break down even the guys that, that on the corner. Sometimes I pull my car over and when they see me get out, they're like, oh no, here he come. You know, and then once I start dialoguing with them, oh, he's okay. You know, so again, just changing the mindset. And in an effort to help strengthen relationships between residents and the police, Collington, business owner Megan Murphy, and Mayor Kate Stewart kicked off Unity in the Community. It began as a conversation between the three and turned into a plan of action. So we did a questionnaire and we polled the community, what type of services would you like to see? Um, is it dialoguing with the police? Is it like setting up um, after school programs with the kids, which I'm involved in that now as well. So, you know, we just brainstorming different things. We're having a youth discussion here, and this is part of the unity in the community um, where we're going to have law enforcement sit down with youth all day. Mm. They're going to eat lunch together, they're going to interact all day, talk about the perceptions on both sides, and then we're going to have a group discussion at the end. So, these things are continuous that we have to continue to do to bridge that gap, to re reinstill that trust that the community used to have with the police. 
Thank you very much. And for Collington, being able to affect a young person's life in a positive manner is humbling. They only pay me for eight hours. My other pay comes from the fulfillment that I get from the interaction. So I don't even worry about it. Hey, what's up, man? Right. Good, good, good. Hey, what's happening? All right. And he's done wonders for my neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's. Uh, I mean, without people like him on the on the force, it wouldn't be as great to come apart, right, guys? No, I I just love what I do. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good night. Watch out for the cars coming back. It, it, it really warms me up 